Hey you guys, welcome back to Shanghai China, I'm Andy. Today I'm here in Jiading District, which is about an hour's drive out of central Shanghai. I'm here to try a driverless taxi. Sounds scary? Come with me. It's time for me to call a driverless DD taxi. And I can see one's nearby. I select the destination. And he's going to be here very soon. Okay, my car is here. Now I need to look at the screen here. There's all the details. It says the door's closed. Then it says I need to do up my seatbelt. Then I need to scan the QR code here using the app. Identification confirmed. Start the journey. There is a driver and a safety guy, but they're not actually driving themselves, so it's quite interesting. The radar and cameras located on the roof monitor the situation real time, providing extremely accurate data about the environment. Here on the seatback uh, screen, we can see the journey in real time, including all the obstacles here. So here up ahead, we can see there's a bike. That's without me even seeing it with my own eyes. But if I look, there's a bike. Shanghai became the first place in China to issue intelligent vehicle demonstration licenses in 2018. And now dozens of companies here in Jiading are working on intelligent driving vehicles and technology. A driverless testing area has been set up which covers more than 50 kilometers of road, where companies like Didi, which we're riding in today, can test driverless cars. Okay, I've arrived at my destination. I have to say that was quite interesting. And on the DD app here, there's even an option to give them a star rating. Now, normally this is gonna rate the driver. And of course we didn't really have one, but I'll give them five stars anyway for the experience. Now by 2025, they're hoping to have no safety drivers in the cars at all. So it'll be completely uh, driver free. That is gonna be pretty interesting. and I'm looking forward to it. But for now, I need to find my way home. <laughs> See you next time, bye.